In this video we are going to be looking over this Canon AF35M 35mm film camera and my goal here is to demonstrate it almost as if you have it in your own hands and are doing the testing yourself. And in order to do that we have a scrap roll of film and two AA batteries. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the battery compartment and inspect that and notice that everything's nice and clean, the contacts look really good. So we'll load the batteries according to the little symbols there and close that compartment. Then we're going to open the film door and we will load our scrap roll of film in here. And this one you have to get the film kind of into these little slots here. So I'm going to feed that in there first. Just to get that. I know it's just a little bit tricky, but then we're going to put the film magazine over here and we have this working with the sprockets here. So now we can close the door. And then if we look at the film counter here, we have to advance this up to where it shows one to make sure we pull all that exposed film out of the way and bring fresh film in, in place. So one, two, three. Okay, now it's on picture one. So now we can do some basic testing of the camera. And I thought the first thing I would do is uh, we're going to set the ASA wheel that goes all the way from 400 down to 25. I want to pick a slow setting, so I'm going to leave it at 25. I'm going to steadily hold the camera right here with this light shining in the sensor right here. And so we're going to see what it does. Okay, I saw the lens move to focus and then the shutter went off and the film advanced. So now, holding it in the same orientation, I'm going to shut off this bright light right here and we'll see what it does. Much longer duration shutter speed, which tells me that the metering is controlling the shutter the way it should be. So now let's try the flash, and this has a pop-up flash and the indicators right here. So we will first pop this up. You see that came up? And then we'll wait until the orange shows up right here. There it is, so that's indicating it's ready to go. So now, let's just take a picture with that flash. The flash certainly worked. If we don't want flash anymore, we can push the flash down and it stays down. Then we can do the self-timer by pulling this lever down. Set the camera here and we'll press that. We can hear it starts focusing and, and all that, and then there's a delay before the shutter goes off. Okay, so we saw that that worked. I'm just holding this in the light here. I see there's a little dust on the lens. I'm just going to blow that away. Um, looks really nice, I think. Uh, what we're going to do next is just pop off the rest of these pictures. And, and you can watch right here. Watch as the uh, camera is focusing on the ceiling now up above. The lens has to move down quite a bit. And this was a short roll, I think about 12 shots or so. Yeah, uh, there I heard it reach the end. So now what we have to do is rewind. And so first we press the little thing here to disengage that sprocket wheel. And then we manually rewind. And you can see the counter is counting backwards. And you have to hold that over until it's completely done. And there I heard it break free. So now we can open this up and know that the film has all wound back into the cartridge. While we have the door open again now, I want to just look at a couple of things. I see a little bit of foam residue over here, not a lot. For the most part, this camera does not have light seals, though there is a little strip right in here. And that seems to have been printing off to here a little bit. Doesn't look real substantial and it looks like it's designed with enough of a wall here that the light seal probably isn't of much use, but I just want to point out that there is that little bit of foam there. Now, if we close the door, the latch works well. Um, about the last thing that I want to show is it has this lens cap with it, and the lens cap 
says 48 millimeters and I verified that a 48 millimeter thread uh, filter screws into this properly but this cap does not attach. I don't know how this cap worked. There must have been some some part of it that is not there anymore because it does not stay. Even though it says 48 millimeter, there must have been something in these slots here that made it grip. And it doesn't anymore, but it's included with it and it will protect the lens in shipment and you can do with it what you want when you get it. The camera has this strap and uh, it's, it's in good condition and it's, it connects over here on this side.